Hello everyone. Uh, one of the issues that you may have if you're using a Canon printer and Canon paper is that uh, when printing from Lightroom, you won't have access to the Canon ICC profiles. Uh, the Canon ICC profiles for Canon papers are embedded in the driver, which means that you will have to let the printer manage the color and then it will access the profile. However, that won't allow you to access the profile here and especially it won't allow you to access the profile when you are in the soft proof mode. So you won't be able to see the Canon profile here, which um, will hurt your workflow if you are used to using a workflow where you always have access to the ICC profiles. So I'm going to show you how to get access to those embedded profiles. Now, uh, I have a Canon Pro 1000. I'm going to assume that this will be the same for all of Canon's current printers. I can't guarantee that, but uh, give this a try and see if it works for you. So you have to do two things. First thing I would do is you want to locate uh, the place where your profiles are stored on your Mac. And the way you do that is you go into your hard drive, then you go into the library folder, and then inside here you go into color sync, and inside of that you'll see a folder called profiles. And you can double click this and you'll see all of the profiles that are installed on your computer that can be accessed by any printing software. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. And then to locate your, uh, the embedded Canon profiles, you wanna open up a new window. Again, open up your Macintosh hard drive. Then you wanna go again into library. And then here you wanna scroll down to printers. And inside of printers, you should have a folder called Canon. Open that one up. And then inside of here, you have a folder called BJ Printer. Open that. Inside of here will be one called Resources. Open that. And then you have one called uh, the model of your printer series.canonicc. In my case, it's called Pro 1000. For you, it may be called Pro 100, Pro 1, Pro 10. Uh, hopefully that it's consistent for all the printers. Again, I can't promise that because I don't have access to all the printers. But if you have something similar here, here's the key. Now you want to control or right click on this file and select show package contents. Then you'll have a folder called contents inside of that. And inside of here, you have another one called resources. And then finally, you will have access here or you will see all of the profiles for the Canon papers. And what you want to do here is you want to select all of these and you then want to drag them into your profiles folder. And you should see a little plus sign, which means that you're copying them over, not moving them. They will remain in the original location, but you're copying them into this profiles folder. Okay. Uh, you may be asked to authenticate. Enter your password. And now those will be copied over into the profiles folder that then Lightroom or whatever other application you're using can access. So if we go back into Lightroom, in the soft proof module or in the print module, uh, when you click on profile here, you will only see the profiles that you have enabled uh, in Lightroom to see. But if you click on other, you will then have a much larger list that contains all of the profiles that are in that folder that I showed you before. And you should be able to scroll down here and you'll see, uh, well, actually you don't see them. So that's a slight uh, little memory error that I had here, which is that when you do this, you need to restart Lightroom. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna quit Lightroom. We'll open it up again and when Lightroom reopens, it will then read that folder and now it should show you the profiles that we copied over. So let's try this again. Hit D for develop, S for soft proof. Click on here on profile, click on other, and now you see the Canon Pro 100 profiles for the Canon papers. So for example, here's heavyweight fine art, here's matte photo paper, and Whichever one of these profiles you want to enable, just make sure that it has a checkbox next to it like that. So for example, if I decide, or if I'm using this Canon paper, matte photo paper, hit OK, and now that profile will be available here in the soft proof module, and I'll be able to soft proof 
uh, that image. Here's the original, and here is the image soft proofed for uh, Canon matte photo paper. And similarly, if I go into the print module, you'll do the same thing. You'll go down here to uh, profile, click on that, and you will now see that profile available because we already checked it in the soft proof module. So these, uh, the profile uh, window in the print module and in the develop module are essentially the same. So you only have to enable it once. In other words, you only have to go into the other and enable it one time, either in the print module or the soft proof module. And you can enable as many as you want and disable them when you decide you no longer want access to their profile temporarily or, or for the long term. All right, so I hope that helps you uh, again, if you're using Canon paper and you want to have access to the Canon profiles in Lightroom or Photoshop or any other printing application. Thanks.